So today, this Sunday, we celebrate Easter, and we we kind of some people like my uncle go to church maybe once once or maybe three times a year and one of the times he goes to church is easter the other time he goes to church is um is christmas and a couple other times and um a lot of people think that that um that God won't save you just because just because he's God. I I have a friend and I have a couple people that I know, including my friend, thinks that if there's a gun in front of you, you're gonna die no matter what. God can't save you. Miracles don't exist, you know what I mean? And I was talking to him about it last time I was here. And he believes that there's there's no magic, there's no um, crystal ball, there's no anything that's just gonna make something save your life. And I guess the more people you talk to have both sides of it. But when you're Christian or when you believe in God, you believe that God's there for you. You believe that God's there for you no matter what. And unless he wants to take you, he's not gonna take you at that moment. If you get shot in the head, there's people that got shot in the head and they survive. They survive 100%. There's people that have no brain damage whatsoever and they got a bull right through their head. Okay? There's nothing to, to, to assess how that happened. There's nothing to say that, that there is. And I was watching a 60-minute video, um, you know, the 60-minute program with my grandma a the, the, the couple months ago. And they actually have, they actually have a program talking about that before they can call it a miracle, they have doctors, they have people around the world who are the best doctors, the best researchers in the world trying to figure out, is this an act of God? Or is there a reason why this happened? Is there some reason why this happened? And they have cases about this and they, and they go behind these doors and there's people that don't even believe in God. There are doctors that try to figure this out. And when they figure out there's no rhyme or reason, there's no thing in the world that, that says that there could not ha this could not have happened. There's nothing to explain why this happened. There's nothing that says this. The, there's, there's nothing that can, that can explain this. And that is what a miracle is. Something you cannot explain. Now, some people think the universe commits these miracles. Some people think that there, that, that there's some other thing. But no matter what you believe in, you always have to understand that there's, that there's gonna be something that we believe in. If it's the universe, if it's God, or, or something that we believe in. But, but we all believe in a miracle is something that cannot be explained. And we always, we always, go, we always go on to this and we say, you, you, you need, we have God up our heads, and one of these days I'm going to go to the, I'm going to go to his church that he goes to, and I'm going to talk to the priest, and I'm going to get the priest's opinion on on um on um on this that if God wants you to die, you're going to die. You know, if God wants you to survive, you're going to survive, no matter what, and. Um, his his mom thinks that that's only a Christian world. We only believe that when we're when we're Christian or when we're Catholic. You know, that's what Catholics and Christians believe. But but um, next time he's here, I'm going to go to Brook Life Church, that non-denominational church, and I'm going to go there and I'm going to talk to the priest, and we're going to sit down with the priest for five ten minutes after the last mass there, and we are going to sit down and we're going to get his priest. And he loves and endures and believes in every day he goes to church and have him have the priest talk to him and I'm gonna film the, the, the thing with it and you're gonna see this you're gonna see this um, film on YouTube the next the, the, the next time I meet with him and that's gonna be the end of this month. So we're gonna get we're gonna get his point of view and then the next the next time I'm gonna get 
a Christian, I'm going to get um, a Christian um, Catholic priest. And we're going to pair the two together. Pair the two you in this guy, and you're gonna about to find out that they're both the exactly almost the same. Because it doesn't matter if you go to denominational church. It doesn't matter if you if you if you uh, go to a Lutheran or a Christian or a Catholic church. We all believe in that God com commits miracles. That, that there's something when you can't explain it. That is a miracle. And when he when, when, when he goes to this mass next time and we, we sit down together and we and I'm going to get my priest that I've been to for a lot of years that's Catholic and when we pair the two the, 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 the two um, interviews together you're going to find out he's going to find out they're, they're actually the same because it doesn't matter where you go to church it doesn't matter if you go to church to his church or my church they kind of believe in the same thing, just in a different formation of God. And we kind of want to bring this up because I want you to know that that a miracle is a miracle. And it doesn't matter where you are, what you do. You know what I mean? Yes, there's common sense in some of this, but I want, I want to let you know that when we show, when I show you these two interviews next time, um, we are going. When we show you these three, um, these two um, interviews, you're gonna kind of see. You're gonna kinda see for yourself. So, what I ask you again, I have to work on Easter this year, and everyone that has to work. Try to do one kind thing. Try to do one kind thing out there that you normally wouldn't do. Open a door for someone. Open the door for 100 people at your church. Um, put groceries away in someone's car when you're not supposed to. Um, help someone that doesn't usually get help. Be kind to someone more. Do what Jesus would do. Be kind. Do what the universe would do. Be kind to one another on Easter. Help your grandma cook the cook the ham. Because that's just what we are. That's just what we are. We we sometimes burn the ham. So what I ask you again is whatever you believe in, I believe in God, my friend believes in God. He believes in a different God than I believe in, but but he's about to find out that the priest that he goes to believes in the same way I do. So, but that doesn't matter. I don't care what he believes in. I don't, you know, it's our opinion. Yes. But he's about to find out that, that this is what a miracle is. So, but I, I thank you for listening to this video and listening to this Michael W. Smith music. And I hope you enjoy this music. And if you want me to, to truly show these these interviews on on um next time you next time I put this on there, um, let me know, and I will show you these the, the, the these interviews because they're exactly the same. I've talked to multiple priests about this in the past, and they from all different types of churches, even churches he goes to, and they're always the same. Pretty much the same. They believe in the same. So, once again, we thank you for this. Have a blessed day. Blessed Universe Day, wherever it is. Peace out. Pray to God. Do what you gotta do. Be nice to someone. Kids out there eat a lot of candy and learn really what God is about.